Hey, my first ever video recording trying to do Dinkercad, which I am four weeks into learning how to use. We are going to build a connector piece to build a geodesic dome fort. So the first thing we want to do up here is change this to be your name dash geodesic dome. Come to the right, scroll down to get a tube. Place a tube in the middle of your work plane. Click the little corner white squares and put in 40 by 40 millimeters. Hit enter. This should be 10 tall, which it I think ends up being 10 tall. And these, we're gonna try to do it at five millimeters wide, which it is five millimeters wide. We can look at our wall thickness here and it's 2.5, which ends up being five millimeters. We can check that by scrolling up, grabbing a cylinder, putting a cylinder here, which is, notice it's the clear, it's the whole cylinder, and we'll click and make this 30 by 30, which if our walls are five by five, then they will end up, this will fit in there perfectly. So I'm gonna put this in there a little bit awkward. I'm gonna drag a box over it, I'll come up here where it says a line, and these come up. I'm gonna click the middle and the middle button here. If I scrolled and look this way, remember you can right mouse click scroll to adjust your work plane. If I click this middle one, it goes up in space, which we don't want to mess with, okay? So now if I group this up here, okay, it, it punches a hole out of it. Click off of it. Here is the basic piece for making our connector for our geodesic domes. What we want to do is put a cylinder through it that is going to be 6.1 millimeters. 6.1 by 6.1. Enter. That is because we have quarter inch dowel rods. We're going to change this to be 35 millimeters tall. Okay. Now up here we are going to click this. These arrows adjust the degrees that this is. Right now it's perpendicular to our work plane. It's vertical, right? So we are going to click this and make it, I want a 20 degree angle coming out of our um, connector piece. So I'm gonna click it and make it 70 just because I like the angle that it works in. So now it's a little bit goofy. So I need this to be turned. Sometimes it works out, sometimes it doesn't. I'm not really sure why yet, but I'm gonna spin this 90 degrees. And now I'm going to spin it another 180 degrees because I want this to be able to come in in this direction so that whenever we connect our dowel rod through this hole, it is the right angle for our dome. So we have this dowel rod here, or this sphere that's gonna make a hole for our dowel rod. We wanna be able to put it in here six equal times so we have 60 degree angles in our basic connector piece. So what we're gonna do is select this, which I have done, Come over here and hit our ruler. And I'm gonna click it right in this. Now, I'm not sure if that works. So sometimes if we select this, get our ruler, and it should turn red. There we go. Now I know that it's precisely lined up for my either direction, okay, on my workspace. When I take this cylinder and I'm gonna move it over, I'm going to want to put it right in the middle of 20 because half of 40 is 20. Now, since it's approximately a six millimeter cylinder, cylinder, we are going to make this number here, which if you notice the green here and the green here, is going to be um, corresponding to our ruler. I'm picking 17 because 17 plus three is 20 and half of six is three, and that is why we're doing 17, so that it's halfway between, or halfway into this here. 
Okay, this I had to do some trial and error with, but I'm going to do negative 17 for this one to keep it, you know, just so we don't have too many numbers to remember. So it's negative 17 and 17 on this. Now up here is this little black arrow. We'll put it from this direction. If you look at this black arrow, this raises it up and down on our work plane in space. Remember, this is a three-dimensional program we're using. So I want to make this until it's negative three, which is right here. And that is going to allow us, see it's poking through negative three millimeters below our work plane, okay? Which is going to give us, if we zoom in, whoops, roughly the most amount of material so that it doesn't become weak. There's a little bit there and there's a fair amount of space there. If we spin this around and I zoom in this way, oops, I'm gonna zoom out, move this thing a little bit. About the same amount of space there and there. It, it'll be close enough for what we're trying to do. Remember, this is eighth grade STEAM and we are going to build a dome for fun and then use Arduinos and LED lights and make the inside of this thing a fun little artistic experience. So, we have this here. I'm going to zoom back out, okay? All of my numbers are where I want them. 17, negative 17, negative 3. Okay, I make sure that's a 6.1 millimeter um, cylinder. I am now going to group them up here, or duplicate them. I'm going to click it once. And I'm going to move this over here, okay? And then I'm going to move it one more time there, just because it, it remembers, oh, maybe it didn't. So see, it gets picked up over there. So I'm going to scroll out. Okay, well, I'm confusing you, but I'm going to click this one, two, three more times so that I have one, two, three, four, five, and six. Now, I can zoom in here. I know I'm going back and forth. I am a novice, but I'm trying. So, I'm going to click this. Why I drag the box over it, I group them. I'm gonna come up here, and I'm gonna group it. And what, you, what happens when you group the hole with the solid is it creates a hole. So now I'm going to spin this 60 degrees. It doesn't really matter which direction it's spinning, well it will eventually, but for our first one it won't matter much. So I'm going to hit 60. It spun it this way, 60 degrees. There's a hole. Now we can take another one of these, put it in here, make same numbers, negative 17 and 17, and it should be negative 3 because that we group, or, um, duplicated it when it was at negative 3. So now I'm going to drag a box over it. I'm going to group it. Okay. I'm going to spin it 60 degrees. And just keep an eye on where you're doing it. So as long as you see two holes, we know that we're spinning it in the right direction. So it's just now repetition, right? 17, negative 17, enter, drag a box, group. Ooh. Ay, 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 ay. Okay, you got me though. We're going to put this over and over. My mouse is very sensitive, just like my soul. Okay, 17. Negative 17. Drag. Ooh, it moved a little bit, but I still think it's okay. Yep, numbers are the same. Drag a box, group. You get the idea, right? We're going to go over this till we get all six of them, and then that's it. We're done. We're ready to print this thing. So simple. And then we'll work on our more complicated ones down the road here. But it's pretty easy to use this program. It's a, it's, a, it's a pretty fast learning curve. It's a really simple program. We'll get into Fusion 360 a little bit further down the road. Okay, so don't forget though, as you're doing this, you mess up one step, no big deal. Up here is the back button, right? And so we can just use the back and forth button. Now I, my button's there, so I'm gonna come up here, I'm gonna rotate this 60 degrees. 
hit enter. Now we just want to make sure, I always like to make sure, and I just tilt it to make sure there's not a hole where I'm putting a hole, or I want to put a hole. So I'm going to put this in there, 17, negative 17. You with me? This is going to be cool. You guys are going to get the hang of this. If you have any trouble, you know, you can always ask me because that's what I'm paid to do is help you. Um, and if you're watching this on YouTube somehow, I hope that this isn't confusing you with all of my back and forth places. So somehow, some way, <laughs> though it seemed like I had five, and because it's seven in the morning and my kids are up and I'm going to be bombarded with not being able to concentrate as well and having a four-year-old sitting on my lap, I'm going to try to finish this. So whatever I did, I put two in one or something. So I'm going to click this one and duplicate it, okay, and then move it over here. Because I only have one, two, three, four. This will be five, so I need another one. So I'm going to make, click this, duplicate it, six. I swear I had six to begin with, but I'm not restarting this video again. It'll be fine. You will have to just deal with it. Okay. Select it. Group it. Right? I might have put one in the same hole, which I was saying be careful of doing. So... Little mistakes can happen. Twist it, right? We look good. Slick this over here. 17. Negative 17. Making it happen all day long. That's what we do. Okay. There we go. 60 degrees for my last one. I'm going to run it through completion just because that's what should be done. So one thing that I did find which makes for an interesting learning curve is whenever we go to print this stuff we want to make sure there's nothing on our work plane because the 3D printer does not like printing random stuff on our work plane. So I like to scroll out, double check everything isn't there. But there it is. This connector now is ready to print. Check this out. How cool is that? I think it's amazing. Um, and so I hope you do too or else we have to figure out what we can make that you think is amazing and we will have fun. So when we go to export it, export, we make sure it's an STL. Done. I'll come around with a flash drive, pick it up from you and we are rolling. Thanks for watching, and I apologize for my first ever YouTube video being a little bit ridiculous. Peace.